Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new NBC thriller, crime drama, The Endgame. And this is from this story that focuses on a sexy and twisted heist show on how far some people will go for love, justice, and the most valuable commodity in the world, truth. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? And this has, is led by Marina Baccarin, who plays Elena, who is this renowned criminal, and she's captured, and she's being interrogated to figure out what the hell's going on with all these bank heists in New York City. And you have Ryan Michelle Bath playing Val, who is this government agent trying to take her down, figuring out what her mission is, what she's doing, and all along the way trying to, you know... Solve this mystery. And over the course of the ten episodes that this first season has, I feel like this did not need ten episodes to tell the story. It felt really stretched, really drawn out, and in many ways didn't feel very fulfilling going episode to episode. I'm kind of just like, what kind of progress have we made? Has anything particularly interesting happened? And you have so many different threads of like her trying to get her husband back and her kid and who's corrupt, who's not corrupt. All these different moving pieces from the mayor to the feds to um, Elena to her husband and all these different kinds of people. What's their motivations? What's really going on here? And the show will keep you guessing to the point where it just becomes frustrating. And in terms of this series, I feel like the cast does a good job. It's a strong cast. Uh, Baccarin is a very strong and charismatic actress, and I think she does a really fine job in her role in this show. And I think uh, Michelle Bath does a fine job in her role in terms of like the lead, trying to put things together. But over the course of this season, like I said, it just doesn't feel like anything of... Too much consequences happens for long stretches of time, and it feels like this could have been trimmed down. This didn't have to be 10 episodes. It didn't have to feel so drawn out. But Baccarin is by far the big highlight here. Her character is the most mysterious, hardest to judge, hardest to predict, making for an interesting and engaging thrill ride trying to get to the bottom of this. What's really going on? And between Baccarin's acting and her outfits, that will certainly grab enough attention for you to maybe check out this first episode. Uh, and when it really comes down to it, this feels like an overly complex, overly convoluted kind of crime mystery that, you know, the, act, the characters, I don't think, have enough depth, and a lot of them, it's like twist for the sake of twist, and trying to keep you on your toes, but don't know how much that's going to do with this film and this series, but, you know, it was fine at best at times and feeling derivative and, you know, kind of wasteful at others. But those are my thoughts on Endgame. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.